Year seven, Wednesday lesson. Last time we met, we saw Macbeth hallucinate Banquo's ghost. Or did he? Did Banquo's ghost really exist? But the irony of his situation was explained when he said, I am cabined, cribbed, and bound in fear. Remember what irony is, please, and tell us how is Macbeth's situation ironic at the moment? Today, you are going to create a scene using a technique known as pros, proxemics. Proxemics are how and where people stand in relation to each other. Basically, you are going to be designing the Banquo's ghost scene. Uh, proxemics comes to us from the, the excellent Latin word proximus, which means next. So. You're, you need to consider who is next to whom. For example, I placed Lady Macbeth next uh, between Lennox and Macbeth. Uh, well, if you're concentrating, you have the answer. How did the last video summary use proxemics to stage the Banquo's ghost scene? And looking at irony, complete the sentence to make it ironic. Macbeth has everything he wanted, but... So... Remember, irony means the opposite of what's expected. Um, today, you are creating a dramatic interpretation of the scene. I have to show you a couple of examples of how other directors have used, uh, have created the Banquo's Ghost scene. I'm afraid they're rather graphic. So if you don't like blood, then um, just squint or, or something, or just close your eyes. Um, so, it's a challenging scene for directors and actors, although in Elizabethan times, as I explained, ghosts and the supernatural were quite normal, everyday. Um, it was part of the culture. Um, modern audiences, you might think that to appeal to a modern audience, you could dispense with a ghost altogether, take a more scientific approach to, uh, to the scene. For example, my scene is set in a hospital. Um, so how would you stage a scene? Let me show you the question, the task, before I go on. There's the blood I was talking about. Um, bottom right, describe how you would stage the Banquero's ghost scene. That is your task today. We'd like you to send your ideas to your English teachers because it's the independent work task. Um, so here are uh, a few examples this to me looks like x factor or from the the camera angle but it is how a creative director has interpreted the banquet's ghost scene next one uh, it's popular among directors to stage shakespeare at this set to shakespeare's era of 1940s in the background you can see banquet's ghost they've used lighting to illuminate his chair um, pained Macbeth in the foreground. Um, it's quite fun, really, watching the same play time and time again, because each director either sets it in a different era or uses the different uh, interpretations of different scenes. And it's a very, it's, it me again, it's another reason why it's well worth watching these plays more than once. This is another wartime um, staging for Macbeth. This looks like it's filmed in a, a military hospital. And this is the Polanski version of Macbeth. And you can see there Banquo returning in quite a realistic way, actually, to terrorise Macbeth at supper. So I have set mine in the waiting room of a hospital. I was also considering staging it in a coffee shop but um, some of you may have seen uh, a version I made with eggs a few days ago. I, I may have a, I think I, I had an image of that earlier. Okay, yeah, there, there they are. Yeah, so um, the choice is yours really, the options are yours. Uh, here's an example of how I've, the hospital scenes developed. First Macbeth would say hello to everyone, his wife would be with him or next to him. There's my proxemics. Then Banquo's ghost would appear in a spare seat. The ghost would be dressed in white hospital pajamas. 
because Macbeth poisoned him while he's a patient. Macbeth leaps up saying, I didn't kill you, you can't prove it. I think Macbeth in the place says, thou canst not say I did it. But then some other doctors would arrive, those doctors would echo Ross and Lennox, you know, the lords, the thanes that say, my lord isn't well. Uh, and then Lady Macbeth pretends, as she does, that it's a regular fit that Macbeth has had since childhood. Here is the actual text of Lady Macbeth speaking in reassuring terms. She says, sit, my lord is often thus, have been from his youth. He will again be well. It's just a passing fit. She tries to play down that terror. So over to you, describe how you would stage the Banquo's ghost scene. Bye for now.